Yo, what is up you guys? This is Dre here. Welcome back to the channel. And uh, I'm here to check out the Gotham Knights gameplay uh, demo that shows that showcases Nightwing and uh, Red Hood. So I'm excited to check out, give you guys my thoughts, my reaction. Um, I would have Javante on this video, but he's already seen it. So, you know, uh, yeah, we're going to check it out, watch it and go from there. I'm Jeff Eleanor, Game Director at Warner Brothers Games Montreal, and today I'm really excited to share with you gameplay footage featuring Nightwing and Red Hood from our upcoming game, Gotham Knights. We're joining Nightwing, also known as Dick Grayson, midway through the game story as he patrols our city. All of the knights can unlock heroic ways of getting around the city. For Nightwing, it's his glider, the Flying Trapeze. That's pretty dope. The Regulator's gang are engaged in a hacking crime, so it's time to bring some vigilante justice to the bad people. Each crime in Gotham Knights plays like a mini game mode with rules and optional objectives. Nightwing's fighting style is acrobatic and ping-pongs around the battlefield. While you can play the whole game solo, you can also protect Gotham and co-op with a friend. Here's Red Hood. Red Hood gained new abilities after being resurrected what by an assassin fuck? cult. Here, he uses Mystical Leap to move across the rooftops, springboarded by his own soul energy. Successful attacks and dodges build up my momentum bar below and timing my strikes and combos correctly makes it build faster. Once the bar is full, heroes can unleash powerful abilities. That miss shit is dumb as fuck. Red range attacks are a little louder. He fires non lethal rounds that still do a lot of damage. Here's Red Hood's barrage ability, which deals piercing damage to interrupt armor attacks. The UI you're seeing can be customized to your preferences. What's on screen is what I like, but you can set it the way you like. Now, okay, that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie. Set that man up like that. God, why does, does he... Do, that's stupid. Who the fuck decided that? Now that we've prevented the regulators from stealing data, let's follow Red Hood for a bit. The Bat Cycle is usable by all heroes in Gotham Knights. Let's watch Red Hood chase down a smuggling van in Southside neighborhood. Red Hood can unlock the ability to attach a bomb to thrown opponents, so he can detonate it with a shot later. It's a pretty good time. Get the brakes off that man. Anna, does it seem to y'all that the fighting like looks a lot more slower? 
like kind of clunkier compared to I, I'm just comparing it to Arkham Knight. Now we're back you know. in Belfry, the hero's home base. This next sequence is from early in the game as we're just discovering the Court of Owls. The back computer runs the map of the city and lets us pursue challenges and advance the story. Nightwing is tracking his next story mission, investigating the old powers club. The workbench is where we go to upgrade our equipment, making sure that we're ready for each new challenge through the game. Players find blueprints and crafting materials by taking on missions and fighting crime. Each blueprint has different stats, giving the player a wide range of cool choices for their individual strategy and style. Why those costumes are so nasty? Gear with mod slots is better because mod chips power up gameplay properties. These costumes look basic as fuck. At this point in the story, our characters are still processing the loss of Batman. Wonder who is that? You could visit him. I could what? He went to yours when you could visit his grave. Who is this man? I know that ain't Jason. You had it. I'm not the one staring at that. You know. That ain't too big to be Jason. Sometimes you're an idiot, Grayson. That motherfucker look more like Chad than a, than fucking Jason. Players can unlock fast travel to get around the city in a hurry with the fast bat. Belfry, got anything court related? Court of Owls. Secret society is all in Gotham itself. Run the city behind closed doors. According to the old poem, anyway. Okay, but how does that line up with what Penguin said? If this all-powerful court really is out there, they might be the ones getting all those creeps out of Blackgate. Which means they've been getting away with murder for centuries. I hear you. Gotham looks tight, though. To learn more the Powers Club. Looks about the same as Arkham. It's time for Nightwing to sneak into court territory. Stealth is always an advantage. I'm in. Be careful. Let us know if you find anything. They have a few guards. A long lunch too, huh? I'm not complaining. Nice to get a break once in a while. So what do you think the poor bastard did? What poor bastard? <laughs> as far as I know, I just got a longer break. Poor bastard? I wonder what that means. Every hero has unique takedowns and finishing moves. Ambush strikes are faster than silent takedowns, but make more noise. Augmented reality vision helps the heroes solve puzzles and investigate mysteries. AR shows a trail of blood. My question, why the dude get choked out and she got hit with a three-piece by the night stits? The hatch is connected to some kind of network. There's got to be a way to open it. Here we see Nightwing's elemental shockwave ability. It interrupts enemy armored attacks and deals elemental status effects. Cryo status freezes an enemy, taking them out of the fight for a while. I think the camera work is better. You know, the fact that it kind of spaces out, you can see more uh, enemies from farther away. I think that's really 
a good touch. And done. And they probably did that because obviously if you're going to play with other players, other characters, uh, for those tag team takedowns, you got to have more of a wider shot to capture both of them in battle. A hidden staircase. That can't be good. Anybody wondering how this fight looks with Red Hood? Check this out. Kill the intruders first. Then you can think about the rewards. Red Hood takes on a Talon Gladiator here, one of the Court of Owls, engineered superhuman assassins. <laughs> Damn, you can't do shit against that nigga, bro. Took too much time, my guy. Oh. God damn, that was like a boss level fight. Shit. <laughs> Wherever this belongs to must be in bad shape. Better hurry. That must be whoever they kidnapped. It's a trap! Pre order now and get the 233 custom Bat Cycle skin. Hmm. Not bad. Because I, I mean, I've heard people like completely shit on it. I won't shit on it. It's not terrible, but it's also not good when I consider what, seven years since Arkham Knight came out. Um, so I did expect. So a bit of uh, some improvements, you know, with some of the combat style. You know, I, f I still feel it's kind of the same and even kind of worse because it's a lot more slower. Um, but maybe they were trying to go with a realistic approach. I mean, I remember when you play Arkham, the Arkham games, Batman just, you know, doom, 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 like just he moving, bro. He, he, he moving. But I mean, maybe that's just Batman. He, he's Batman. That's why. Um, Red Hood, Nightwing, 
not bad. I, I like how they did Nightwing in this game. He ain't terrible. Uh, I do question why he was walking like that. You know, when he was walking around the little um, hot hideout, he was just like, you know, shoulders all high and shit. Like, just, I don't know. Like, I feel like he would be, he, out of anybody on the team, he would be, like, the most, like, confident. So, you know, I would I would think he would be walking straight up, knees not, knees straight. You know, I, I feel like he was just a lot more bent over when he was walking. And I just found that kind of weird. Um, but, yeah, Nightwing's pretty cool. Red Hood, <sighs> he's dope in combat. I, I, I hate the red, I hate the mist, the, the. You know, the mist to jump around. I just, I hate seeing that kind of mythical element when, you know, a lot of the Batman's, the Bat family doesn't use that. It's all gadgets. To, that's how they get around. So, um, and I believe he did that in the comments, but, you know, there's certain things in the comments that I don't think should be applied to other things, you know? Some things just strictly were made for the comments. Um, you know, I don't know, just give him a fucking grappling hook, grappling gun, something like that to get around, or give him the same thing as Nightwing, just a bigger one, <laughs> you know, uh, I mean, he has all, he also has a bite, too, let's not forget about that, I mean, they all have bites, um, so, and also his look, his look, terrible, terrible, that man, he looks like he looks like a Chad. That uh, no offense to you, Chads out there. He looks like his name is Chad. That that's what I will say about that look. Um, otherwise, not bad. You know, Gotham looks the same. I actually question though. Like my my biggest question about this game and why didn't they just continue where Arkham Knight? You know, with the Arkham Knight story. Apparently, this is like. Of course, this deals with the death of Bruce Wayne and, and or Bruce Wayne and Batman, but it's set in a different like universe, a different world than the previous Arkham games. And I just question that because I don't, I don't know. I feel like um, in the in the Arkham games, you still had Nightwing, you still had Robins, you still had the Red Hood. Batgirl, which, I mean, y'all could say, oh, she was Oracle in that game, in this game, she's Batgirl, but apparently, um, and I have it pulled up on my phone, because I thought this shit was funny as fuck, but she was Oracle in this game as well, but, she, let me see the story, few people can match Barbara Gordon in terms of raw willpower and determination, Barbara has always been a person of action, in her mind, backing down is never an option, having one of the Gotham City's most well-known police commissioners as a father, had a massive impact on her, Jim Gordon gave his life for Gotham, and now she wants to make sure it wasn't in vain, after a face-off that put Barbara in a wheelchair, she became Oracle, a powerful information and communications expert, but her, fa her father's death spurred her to train and recover from her wound so that she could return to active duty as Batgirl. And I just find that stupid. Like, come on, man. You literally just don't make her Oracle in this game. You could have just had her not have the the incident with Joker. You could have did you could have done that. Or you could have just had a different Batgirl. You could have had Cassandra, uh, Cassandra Kane. You could have had uh Stephanie Brown, you know, spoiler fucking Carrie Kelly uh, as a Robin, you could you could have done that if you wanted a female character. I, I don't know. I just I just find that stupid as a plot point. Um, so I don't know. This is uh this is weird. Will I will I get this game? Probably. I'm a big fan of these characters and big fan of you know DC in general. So I probably will uh, play this game definitely. So you know, uh, but. To say that this game will be better than any of the Arkham games, I'm just gonna go out and reach and you know go on a limb here and say that it's not. Uh, but it still might be solid, so I definitely will. I'll probably enjoy it, you know, enjoy it for what it is. But it's not too bad, I guess. Huh? <sighs> yeah. I'm just looking. This is. But yeah, also I think this is a different engine that they're using, so that might be the biggest reason why um, there's such a difference in this game compared to the Arkham games. And I know we're all going to compare, 
you know, it's one of those things where like, oh, we shouldn't be comparing it to Arkham, but yes, we should. Arkham was peak level of DC characters in video games. Like, though, though, <laughs> not, nothing I think can top that at this point. But, you know, I'm excited for a lot of these characters getting video games in the future. I know Wonder Woman game, I'll definitely play that when it comes out. Can't wait to see the gameplay footage for it, actually. Um, you know, still holding out hope that we could eventually, we could eventually get a, you know, a Superman game. That would be really fucking cool. Open world, just fly around that bitch, bro. <laughs> I've seen people say like, um, shit, you do that, you don't have motherfuckers playing that shit like GTA and turning that nigga into <laughs> Homeland or some, or, <laughs> or Omni Man or some shit. <laughs> Which, I mean, they weren't, they're not wrong. Um, but yeah, it's not bad. It's not bad. I, I won't, I won't say it's terrible, but you know, it, and also they did say that, what did they say at the beginning? They said, work it, work in progress. So, uh, they have a while now before this game comes out where they can fit up on a lot of these different patches and shit. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll see. Oh, you know, what I just thought about with the with the Jason Todd going around on the mist thing. It just gives me Fortnite vibes, and I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. But it is what it is. Um, let me know your guys' thoughts on the Gotham Knights uh, Nightwing and Red Hood demo gameplay demo trailer. Uh, let me know down below your thoughts on it. Uh, did you enjoy it? Do you still? Are you still interested in buy in getting buying the game? Um, and let me know where you think the game should improve on uh, based on this footage. Um, but yeah, let me know your down below if you enjoyed this reaction. Feel free to like, share, and subscribe. All right, guys, that'll be all. Deuces.